It could be the next big bailout. The government's pension insurance group says a growing number of pension plans could run out of money in a matter of years. To financial guru Manisha Takur, who thinks it's all it's time for a 401k style plan for all workers. Manisha, let me let me see if I've got this right. Conventional pensions where a company is on the hook to provide a pension, X amount of dollars for life for the people who used to work for them. That kind of pension is going out and the companies that are not doing well that are offering it. You want a different kind of pension, 401k, where everybody contributes in, the company puts the money in and the money is yours when you retire. Is that what you want? Sort of. I, the the thing that I, I feel is most important for people to grasp as they're hearing all of the news about this possible pension implosion is that that is a symptom of a much more serious root problem, Stuart, which is that the entire definition of retirement is being left in the dust. Hmm. And there are three key questions that we really need to answer as a society. Number one is what is retirement? Number two, who's responsible for funding retirement? And then three, to your point in 401ks, what is the right vehicle? But if we don't answer questions one and two correctly, that third vehicle isn't going to be successful. And you know, so it's a bigger issue. But the, the part of this is we are living longer. Yeah, and we're living it. active lives a lot longer. And a lot of people who wanted to retire maybe at 64, mm -hmm. 65, 66, they can't do it because they were decimated in the crash of 2008. Or even bigger, Stuart, they can't do it for the very reason you just mentioned, which is that the old view of retirement was you worked until you were retirement age, then you got Social Security, and maybe you died a couple years later. Today, because of longevity, people are living in retirement 30, 40 years in some cases. So mathematically, for every year you work, yeah. Stuart, you need to fund a year of your retirement. That's a sea change that, as a nation, we really haven't come to grips with. Honestly, Manisha, i got to tell you, I think people are just uh, not even considering retirement. I think people are often thinking, I'm going to work forever. They'll carry me out. I do believe that. Uh, and they are. They absolutely are. And I think the reason is the second point that I highlighted. Who is responsible for retirement? Years ago, when Social Security came about, it was really meant to be a stopgap measure, not a long-term plan. Then corporations stepped in and offered these generous pension plans, but there was a business reason behind it. They were trying to encourage employee loyalty. Today, we live in a very different yeah. world. We want people moving around. And so my question is, do we want companies to be responsible for retirements uh, or individuals good question. to be it, responsible. It's going to be individuals. It's going to have to be. Mm -hmm. I can see it. Maybe not a good thing, but it's going to be. Manisha, thanks very much for joining us. Very important subject. We appreciate your expertise. Thank you. Thanks, Stuart.